So if you've been looking for a descendant that has the ability to boost her damage whenever she wants, allowing her to power through these enemies with ease, or what about a descendant that has the ability to heal herself when she needs it the most? Well, if that sounds like a descendant for you, Glay is your girl. Now, what's so cool about her is she literally turns into another person. Her first personality gives her more damage and her second gives her more survivability. Her first skill called Frenzy enters Berserk mode. Long distance weapon attacks increase by 25%, penetration by 45. Consumes 18% of max HP immediately and all HP recovery efforts decrease by 60%. Now what you need to remember about this, when you do go into frenzy state, you'll always notice because her hair goes white. She literally goes from one person to another. She'll have the black hair and then she'll have the white hair. And that's when she'll be able to produce that damage with those long range weapons. But the one thing you do need to remember is that she does not gain HP back. So if you want that, well, stay tuned for the next couple skills. Well, now you know, well, if I'm not getting HP back, there must be a skill that helps that. So her second skill is called Life Siphon. It deals damage to enemies within range, recovering HP. HP recovery increases with the number of enemies hit. The hit enemies are inflicted with additional effects depending on Glaze state. So if you are frenzied, that means damage is increased and it increases even more if the current HP is low. Now, if you're not in frenzy state, it gains vigor for a certain period of time and also decreases incoming damage. So vigor stacks according to the number of enemies hit. Now with her third skill is called increased sensory, it applies different effects depending on glaze state. When frenzy state applies maximum lethality during which bullets are not consumed for a certain period of time. When in non frenzy state applies maximum recovery during which glaze recovery HP proportion to the max HP at fixed intervals for a certain period of time. And that's where you'll see that she can tank enemies and put out that damage at the same time. And that's why I became a fan of her. The fact that she can go from one state to another, having more damage or having the survivability you need is perfect, especially if you learn to play with her early on. Now our final skill is called Massacre. It switches equipped weapon to Massacre. The bullets loaded to Massacre are affected by the amount of power of life possessed. Enemies hit by Massacre suffer damage are inflicted with additional effects depending on Glaze state. Now if she's in Frenzy state, it deals additional damage or deals great damage if current HP is low. And when in non-Frenzy state, the hit enemies are inflicted with stun which could be valuable in certain situations. Now for her passive skill, it's called Thirst. Glade cannot have shield or MP. Instead, when in non-frenzy state, decrease incoming damage, enemies killed by Glaze have a chance to drop life spears. Upon acquiring life spears, recover HP proportion to the max HP and acquire power of life. This is another ability that's giving her more survivability. So you can see she's built to put out a lot of damage depending on how you pair her skills together. But then she also has the survivability to get out of those situations where enemies could be bombarding her. This is why she's going to be a fan favorite. And I can see a lot of people, once they learn how to play her, are really going to like her. I got to know in the comments who has been your favorite descendant to try. I know people have been trying different ones because during the open beta, you're able to unlock a few of them with the credits that they give you in your mailbox. And I've seen people playing everything from Bunny to Ajax to Viesa to Glay to Jaber. I want to know who do you guys like and who has been your favorite descendant to play with? Personally, I will tell you, I have been a big fan of Bunny recently. I finally put time into her. I got her up and I'm telling you, she's actually been an amazing descendant for me. I, I built guns around her electrocution hitting harder when i electrocute enemies it's just been a fun one but i can see a lot of people really liking glay and i kind of want to get some more time under my belt with her to see how i'll like her but let me know in the comments and here is some more gameplay from her
enemies incoming. Get rid of them and be thorough. will be much smoother from now on. Good work.